Yeah. I used to live with six retarded guys. What? I live with. We're them. in a halfway house. No, I live with them because in college they gave me a free apartment, <laughs> and I just had to be there from eleven to six in the morning. They told. <laughs> And I lived, sorry, I lived, I, in, I just funny. got a room in the place and uh, I used to sit and watch, I used to hang with them, like put them on the back of my motorcycle and they were, they have those, you know, the, the helmet didn't fit. So I had to like, just like kind of tape it, like just tie it on the, just that half helmet on a big retard's head and they just hold my waist and then those big pot bellies with the big booty ass, right? And the long tongue. You just, you could hear the tongue. They do have long You could hear the tongue. <laughs> Like flipping in the wind on the back of the bike. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Do you, not, do you not understand? You didn't live with the retard. You were one of them. Dude. <laughs> you, you just described <laughs> being a member of that household. <laughs> I was only there from 11 to 6. We'd wake up and I'd go for a ride with them. And <laughs> yeah. I used to hang out with them, dude. They used to, we actually they, still live together. <laughs> they, would, <laughs> they would mimic what I, they mimic what people do if they like you. So, right. I used to, that so just now they're sexually abusing retarded people. <laughs> and they didn't... <laughs> <laughs> and they made all the bell noises. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound like fucking uh, vuvuzela horns. <laughs> vuvuzelas? What's a it. vuvuzela? Oh, the horn. soccer horns. <laughs> the noise in South Africa and soccer. <laughs> That's all I think of is there's a giant retard lurking over the fucking soccer stadium. What if they, what if they, what if they called retards and all retards all over the world were just going to South Africa right now? Just ah, yeah, it's like a mating call. They, they, they all take shit. There's gum in their shit because they don't know better. They're, right, they're in a river right now, just wetting their faces. <laughs> A lion grabbed a fucking one with a broken leg. <laughs> they, actually, they can actually probably pet the lions like fucking Lenny from Mice and Men, and nobody, the lion wouldn't even bite because they're too oh, dumb to be frightened. Shit. They don't even want to eat them. No. <laughs> yeah, the lion just knows it's going to taste stupid. <laughs> taste stupid. <laughs> David Burton's last show was in 2009, but half of them were talking heads. Songs. Well, he's not doing shows. No. What's he doing? He's an art guy. Oh, okay. Great an article. Stuff. Think he's rich? I tried re uh, reading an article on him and it was boring. <laughs> but basically, he's into the whole New York art scene. I hate big art time. I hate the art scene. You wouldn't be a fan. Hey, that scene. thing you painted. We look at it. <laughs> oh, what did you paint? <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> All right, should we break? Take pictures those? of it, look at it online, and shake your face. <laughs> what, is there an on, what is there an art scene? I don't know. Hey, you want to get together and just look at the things? <laughs> Why do I need you there? Just fucking send me a photo. I'll just look at it later. It's a place to be seen, though. Oh, it's terrible. You're in a gallery. You're, you're dressed, having some wine. You're dressed up a little wacky because you're part of the art scene. And yeah, part of the art scene. You want a mimosa? Whatever it is, those fucking fruits drink. You don't like looking at art? No. Have some cheese and a mimosa. Oh, blues and the red. Oh. You don't like looking at art? No, I don't. I hate Shit. modern art. I'll look at art for a second. What's that? Wow, that's cool. Done. That's it? <laughs> you don't like soak it in? No! I, if you stand in front of a painting for more than eight seconds, you're a douchebag. <laughs> What's happening with the oil that's making it to the surface now? Are they burning it? Are they doing anything so that this doesn't... They put a chemical on it that breaks it into little smaller pieces. And then what? And then it's supposed to just kind of sink into onto the bottom of the ocean again or uh, get... Uh, the sun degrades it to some point, but that takes a long Jeez. fucking time. Oil is pretty durable stuff. But the fucking water is so cold, all these animals, we have to pay for oil heating. These animals now have it for free and you they're we bitching. Should, we you should send them. a bill to these, these animals for oil? The nerve of them, they're getting all this, they're stealing our oil. Our oil is being stolen by duck feathers and shrimp. <laughs> I say we kill these TV. You know how many turtles now have nice oil shells and oil hats? <laughs> oil hats. Lucky turtles, little slippery feet to make swimming easier. Yeah, think how they glide through the water, right? I'm tired of doing these faggot animals. Look at that lucky duck oh. <laughs> covered in oil. He couldn't be smiling happier. Oh, the poor thing. His mouth is open because he's suffocating. Yeah, he's not smiling. He's trying to get air. It's There's little, a difference. Those he's little not, holes laughing. in his bill are clogged right. with oil. No, right. he's laughing. His mouth is open. Fuck him. I got to let him get the sinus surgery like I had to pay for. Oh, look at the poor oily duck. That lucky duck, I guarantee you, he won't be cold this winter. <laughs> <laughs> lucky fella. 
All this money we get charged for. Look at this one. He's trying to, this one goose is leaning over, spreading more oil on himself on purpose. <laughs> thief! Thief! <laughs> <laughs> They're not thieves. They're victims. They're not victims. Put that oil back. That's our oil. God damn these sea animals. We have this perfectly fine oil. We find a cheaper way to get it to the shore. <laughs> yes, this eliminates the pumping. Yes, and the oil rig workers and everything. It just brings it right to the you surface. You shoot it to the surface, you put it in a big net, and then you just fucking pull up to the beach and take what you need. Free oil for all. <laughs> but these fucking unions and these faggot animals got to <laughs> steal it. Well, I want these animals punished. I've, not, they, I've never heard you don't one think they're being punished. Fox. Look at this picture. You don't think yeah. that, that seagull's being punished? Yeah. Yeah, look at the seagull. He's got fucking oil all over. He's waving. Hey, bring some more oil no, over here. No, waving. his wings are fucking <laughs> deteriorating. They're burning away. They're, they're not stuck, burning away. They're stuck in that position. And he's not waving. Fuck him. He's beckoning. Come over no. here. Come get some oil, guys. He's he's beckoning his fucking his thieving bird friends. <laughs> that fucking thief. <laughs> Come over here, guys. Here's the oil. That's <laughs> not what's happening, though. You know how much better Poor it is to build birds. a sandcastle with little Earl? Poor God damn these animals. Oh, fuck. Fucking animals make me sick. <laughs> we look got at some... them showing off. Showing off that they're just thieving. Yeah, look at them. Look at these two taking a nice nap with uh, <laughs> our oil. They're no, I don't, I don't think they made it. I these think, two ducks no, taking think, a nap. I think they're two victims. Our oil all over them taking a nice warm <laughs> no, nap. No, I think that's That's great. Victims. You don't have to go south, do you? No, sir, because dummies just give you free oil <laughs> no, to coat on your faggot wings. Take a nice nap in our oil. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at this one. He couldn't be happier. Look at this duck. He's he's dead. He's dead. He's, on he's the not beach. dead. On the he's beach. not dead. Making he's fucking oil surfing. <laughs> oil surfing. He's, he's dead, making everyone sad. He's slickly oil surfing. <laughs> Look at this one. Who's that bird trapped? What a lie that is. <laughs> that bird's not trapped. Oh, oh, look at this look. show off. On his back doing the oil dance. <laughs> no, it's not. He's dead. He's not dead. He's on his back kicking that's, his feet up. Oil! That's rigor mortis. That's, it's not rigor mortis. That's. Oh. That's. He couldn't sad. be happier. He looks like a little turkey on his back. Not only. These poor oh, things. Fuck. Oh, these. I feel so bad for the birdies and the little. I feel bad for us. I pulled up to the beach the other day. There was no oil. <laughs> Makes me sick. <laughs> Which beach did you go to? Look at this guy, Life O'Reilly. <laughs> Life O'Reilly? What are you talking about? He can't fly. He's flapping his oil-drenched wings and can't even get off the ground. He doesn't need to fly. Where's he going? He's got all the oil he needs. <laughs> they usually fly to Iraq to get the oil. They don't need to now. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, well, they don't need to fly. Part of their migratory pattern. <laughs> they can just lounge around, fat, lazy shitbirds. He looks like he feels heavy. They I don't think do. that... Uh, that's very uncomfortable. He doesn't want to fly... Feathers are very uh, delicate things. They're, yeah. they're always preening them, and they got to put them in the right spot. And then you got to clean them. Like they, 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 the birds clean them. And then you ever see birds take those sand baths? Sure. That does something too. And then what? oil just isn't meant for their little feathers. Let me tell you something. If you're a bird and you have the gift of flight, and you land in oil, you're an asshole. Any bird that gets oil on it is a fucking asshole. <laughs> I can see a fish coming up. Boy, right. but even fish, just go somewhere else. It's the ocean. <laughs> what are you doing, fag? Move. You get the whole ocean. There's no fences. Don't stay around the oil, right? Exactly. Quit looking at it, you nosy. Water. Water. Yeah. I'll fuck your daughter. <laughs> oil and water. Oil and water. Oil and water. Oil and water don't mix, but vinegar, if you shake it, makes a good dressing. <laughs> Oil and water don't mix like the races. <laughs> we got to split up black and white like oil and water. That'd be great if this whole song was just about separating the races. Water is clean. <laughs> Oil is filthy. Nobody likes mulatto water. <laughs> 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 a lot of water. <laughs> uh, Nobody likes tainted clean water, <laughs> dirtied by filthy black oil. <laughs> that water will never come to my house again. <laughs> water is a gift from the Lord, spoiled by dirty black oil, <laughs> sullied by dirty black oil. <laughs>
The uh, the commercials these days are really getting uh, to the point of um, being they're, unrealistic. They're, it, it, it's frightening. Uh, I, I've been, just, I've been preaching it, it since what? My first CD uh, yeah, yes. 15 years ago. Yes, yes. There's one about Kodak called, Camera. Called what? <laughs> oh, what? what? I'll Go be ahead. the same angry white boy 15 years later. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sorry, I'm ahead of the curve. I was ahead of the curve. Nick started this shit. Sorry, I was... Been this started with uh, Nick It was Paul. white presidents till fucking now, Nick. Who was you fucking pissed off about? What are you talking about? Wait, what are we now, talking about here you know, now? I'm just Obama, talking about, you call me Obama for some reason. Obama, well, you're upset that somebody can make seventy zillion dollars. Obama has become a, like a marketing thing where now every company is like, well, since we have a black president, let's get black people in every commercial. Why not? Uh, why not? Because it's not representative. It's only going to last four years. But it's not representative no, no. of it's, a lot it's of what's writing. going on. They no. showed a, a white man <laughs> taking an order from a black man on a commercial. <laughs> here. here. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Any, I, I talk about number two like he wants to be. And, and you do realize those two will end up hating each other. Down the it, road. They won't if Wade. But that's not going to happen. If Wade relinquishes the fact then they won't that he's other. not the guy. There's going to be an ego thing. It's not happening. a competition. LeBron's better than everybody except for Kobe Bryant. He's the boss on every team, except for if Kobe Bryant's and he's on the trying team. to play second best He's on that trying team. to give away the ball. He's trying to do... Wade is now a role player, and Chris Bosh is a fucking hyper, supercharged rebounder and kind of scorer. They're not... It's, 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 it, it never fails. There's no team in the history of the NBA where you you wondered who the boss was the lakers magic the celtics bird detroit isaiah they were the boss this team who oh, is wade or is it can't be that but that's that's why they're not going to win i disagree because i always thought that wade's defense was the problem and that and the boss needed to start uh uh be passing the ball a little bit more because uh, Wade's asshole. defense, was, uh, Wade's defense I, I, was weak. No, no, no. But King James. You know what? I thought LeBron James was was, was being I, a role player I, too. I, I needed to say that because I can't say it on Mike and Mike. So I just wanted to say it because I was thinking about it. Of why they're not going to win, yeah. and they can't win. I, I, I like your thoughts on that. They I don't win. disagree, but I think that if you, if you're going to have a role player, well, then, then I'm going to say, hey, I think Bosch has to really just settle down and accept his role. But is Wade going to tolerate that? Well, well, the coaching staff even get back to him. See, that's what you hear on talk radio, sports talk, and it works, so the, don't even laugh. Same goofy same shit. shit. Quit sucking uh, Michio Kaku's dick, and, and I'll tell you why. All right. Okay. I, I don't doubt that the man is highly intelligent, but I get the impression he's about as wise as one of the peanuts in my shit. Because... Uh, oh, Chip. Wait, wait, did you... Uh, sir? Hey, sir? Hey, you, got, you got the two rivals, right? You got religion. Wait, wait, sir. Your phone crapped out. He's as wise as what? Uh, yeah, you, you, we didn't hear you. You got religion and you got science. No, no what, what did you say before that, yeah. buddy? Sorry, that you said he's as wise as what? Like, yeah, we didn't like, hear. He's, he's about as wise as one of the people. We heard you! <laughs> 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 Every fucking time. <laughs> I can't Boston believe my great line. They didn't hear it. All right. Well, I'll, I'll repeat it. For All right, them. sir. You just keep talking. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. The religion and science thing. Go ahead. Go. You're, you're up, sir. Go. Point. Go. Look, what they're doing is. Yes. Is that the science they're fooling with is passing <laughs> over into the realm of religion. Because yes. Faith based. Yay. They, they got so much faith in their mathematical equations and, and shit that they're going to try and create a mini Big Bang and a fucking super collider. That shit's fucking crazy. I know. There's and no you're saying it so scientifically. Yeah. There's there's no reason for it, though. It's just to satisfy their curiosity, and they could fuck something up. Yeah, satisfying humanity's curiosity has never gotten us anywhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, it has definitely, Ant. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, the super cloud, they're trying to learn about the beginning of time. I think that does what? have some importance. For what? For what? What? I don't know. I've never actually know. had to explain to somebody why the beginning of time might be important to know about. <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of those guys who just thinks that you're like a real brass balls, tell like it is type of guy? Hey, I got my meat, my potatoes. That's all I care about. Hey, <laughs> shut up. For what? It's the whole reason we're here. So, idiot. so there's a curiosity. To, hey, to... what do I know? Right? I cash my check. I have a bag. I don't know nothing. <laughs> hey, hey, time schmine. Hey, it's eight o'clock. Hey. <laughs> don't, don't you think that there are some questions? that don't need to be answered? No, I don't, well, sir. To answer your idiotic question, <laughs> yes, that one didn't need to be answered. You know what, though? That's, that's an interesting thing. But, okay, what what questions need to be answered? 
I don't know how to fucking feed ourselves, how to fix Exactly. It. Mr. Meat and Potatoes. Mr. Tells It Like It Is. Everyone's trying to have fun, and but he's got to go, hey, there's no historical. This? There's no historical anything that, that you're curious about? The Big Bang isn't interesting? You Where sound like a thinking from. guy. Is the... How are they going to figure out how the fucking Big Bang happened? It's going to be on a tiny scale. But, I mean, I'm saying it's interesting. Wait. It, they, it's they, interesting to under... Just, to, just that it's... There's people out there trying to figure it out, and Look you, you at, wonder, yeah. don't you? Don't you don't wonder? wonder how things work on an atomic level? Why? All right, no, you no, don't. wait, you're not answering. <laughs> sir, you're, you're being, <laughs> sir, you're being, you're double talking. We're saying. He's like uh, the idiot yes, version of Michio you what? what? But it, you know what? The why is a very good question. Why? In no, the I, I don't wow. want to know. It's not. <laughs> so there you go. He's, he doesn't want to know personally. He doesn't want to know. Right, but what, cool. so what's, so what's interesting to you? What's interesting? A lot of shit. I like I like the natural world. I like being outside and looking at shit and observing stuff. But I don't need to pick it apart. You sound like a well-spoken Down syndrome. So person. you just <laughs> so you just see something, right? Say there's a bird, and if you're in, in nature, you just go bird. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll, look at it, I'll observe it, but if you look at something long enough, you will figure it out. You don't need to be picking at shit. And and I'm just saying this whole super collider business. It's not. Let me let me say something. Let me say something that I think is interesting. It takes a million years for the for the heat that's in the sun to come from the mid, from the core of the sun mm -hmm. to where it's actually heat takes a million fucking years. Get the fuck out of here. Isn't that interesting? That's pretty Where'd you read that? But it's fucking interesting. Interesting. I haven't seen that on a placemat yet. Yeah. So what do you talk yeah. about on a date? Does, does that change the way we have No, I know, but I'm saying, no, the, the thing is, isn't that just so, wait, interesting wait. for the interesting warmth, things? The warmth we're feeling today. The, the Whatever the proton shits is, it, right. there's some shit wait. in the sun no. that comes from the sun, all right? All right? Just so you don't but try to meet you, cockle me. There's shit in the sun that takes a million years so, to get the fuck out. So break it down. The warmth we're feeling today started a million it's years ago. It's some old shit. Some old it's shit. It's a million year old <laughs> warm shit. It's an interesting trivia fact, but that's all it is. That's what I'm saying. Isn't it interesting? I think it's interesting. What's your favorite movie, sir? Yeah, what's your favorite movie? Uh, I don't know. I guess Glory. Why? It's historical. You don't need to know about that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? That answers everything. Bunch of black people dying. <laughs> Bunch of crying and <laughs> niggas dying and niggas crying. I was nine years old at the time, so it impacted me differently. I don't really have a, a new uh, favorite movie, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm it's fantasy. I mean, no, it's an interesting conversation, dude, but it's, I mean, some things are interesting. The All more right. things you learn, sir, the, it, we've learned a lot from exploring space. We've learned that we've got a lot of uh, inventions. And as far as space travel is concerned, the more that we know about space, the more we know about time travel, the easier it's going to be to eventually venture out. But we're in the exploration stage now. Nah, that's cool. Fair enough. But time travel isn't even fucking real, so they need to get off. Yes, it is. Okay. You, you can't, whether you like it or not. You see, the Hubble telescope, not that this would be interesting to a man of your ilk, but the <laughs> Hubble telescope was built because they wanted to attempt to see the Big Bang. They wanted, or, or the beginning of time. And right. you can look back in time in a way. When you see the sun, you are technically looking back in time by eight and a half minutes because that light left the sun. If the sun blew up, we would see a lovely circle for eight and a half more minutes before we saw the explosion. Just so like, you are seeing in the past. Just like a, a fucking star that's like whatever, a mil... A millions of light years away that light yeah. is a fucking million years old right the just right. getting there that's just okay, interesting it doesn't mean anything but it's fucking interesting but you think it's bullshit right dude yeah, and look as far as time travel goes i think we can't even get uh, atoms to stop spinning around how are you going to get them to fucking spin backwards and fucking see where they Spin were. Spin backwards. But again, sir, we, 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 we keep trying these things and we'll figure it out. What do you think? We're just going to have a book on it? We, we kind of have to try trial and error. Yeah, we got cell right. phones now. And, and, think and about in that. Process, in the process, we're going to blow shit up and fuck. Uh, you know what, I mean? it's, it's, what are we doing with this? This is a if man was, if man <laughs> this is, was this meant is every, to fly, he'd have wings kind of guy. This is, this is every guy who says six to one, half a dozen of the other. Right. All right. Hey, look, I'm not going to fuck anybody. Uh, just let me tell you all, I love you guys. Patrice, you're the fucking man. And uh, quit sucking me through coffee and dick. All right, thank you. Right, so sorry. Go so watch fun. Glory. <laughs> well, exactly. we, we got another guy just like him, though. Mark in New Jersey. Mark? Hey, guys. This, uh, this whole thing, oil slick thing, it reminds me about uh, the movie Armageddon, how they're 
saying that they got to bring in us the special <laughs> I've seen fucking smoother delivery in hostage videos. Do you have a rifle point to the you? <laughs> Do you need help? Hello, Akbar. <laughs> you want us to call someone for you? Jesus Christ. He's a little nervous, isn't he? All right. You, all right let's, let's, get fucking, uh, uh, let's get his bearings. Right. <laughs> you notice it's, it's scary just to, when Steve calls me and you want to come in. I'm like, shit. I'm scared. Oh, also, <laughs> also get a little anxiety, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I think I'm scared. <laughs> you fucking guys. Blood are pressure brother. goes up start, slightly, right? I'm Holy nervous shit. for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good point oh, with this guy. Jesus Christ. All right, so our, our apologies. Go right ahead. Mark, try again. Yeah, I'm punching out, guys. The uh, moment's kind of ruined now. It's all right, sir. Uh, a... No, come on. Well, come on. It's not an no, orgasm. No. It's a fucking oh, point. Come on. the moment's yeah. kind of ruined. Let's, you could do it, buddy. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's try, try it again. Together. Together. We're sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if they go with the nuke thing. All right, to the point. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they find that the remote detonator doesn't work. In well, we don't know what you're talking about, so you're not being clear. <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy, you're the worst. The fucking guys. Jesus Christ. What, the fuck? Okay, what do you, oh. Just elaborate a little on what you mean. It has oh. the nuke and the oil. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know you actually do yeah. have a valid point. He's gone. So. <laughs> Why can't he just go with a joke? <laughs> Dude, I'm was, joking with you. Jimmy was being so mean. Uh, to him. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. You just go. You just go. Oh man, you come in just a little off. It's just, <laughs> and so you got a caller. It just is like, hey guys, you know, it just is. It's oh, so shit. fucking. It's stressful. Oh, <laughs> you, it, it you know is. what? Fuck These them. It's stressful. You walk into the comedy cellar wearing the wrong pair of shoes, and you're gonna get attacked all night for it. That's too. what's funny is that you <laughs> just, you just don't, you just forget that this is what we fucking practice doing every second of the day is being hard. <laughs> Oh. Just fucking guy. We got one that wants to talk to Jim. Oh. Not happy. Oh, no. Not happy. Uh-oh. Angus. Yeah. Uh-oh. You sound Not unhappy. Happy. By the way, good uh, opening it, to the call. It, it's all good. Talk to me, Chikaku. And time travel isn't possible. It's not going to be possible. You have to find more en energy than, the, than exists in the universe for it to be possible. I think, that, honestly, I, I, I'm, right now it's not possible. I think Stephen Hawking, hold on, I think Stephen Hawking said that he didn't think it was possible to go back, but he thought it might be possible to go forward. Yeah. Through, through some sort of work. I don't know what the process, obviously. Because technically, if you go back before whatever uh, method was invented, it didn't exist yet. So you, you basically create a paradox by going back, but there's no law, at least in the theory of relativity, that you can't go uh, forwards in time. Yeah, so, so you Stephen probably Haw can't go back. So sorry, it's not really me. If Stephen Hawking thinks that it might somehow be possible. It is it, okay. It's possible. It, it it it. Have a great day, guys. Bye. All right. <laughs> wow. I love it. Right. What Holy is going shit! On? <laughs> They're retarded. Can I ask a question? What, in, in, let's say the people that lived in fourteen hundred. Yeah. What what thing now would you would be like time travel to them? Like where it, it's like fucking like this is it would be like oh shit jet aircraft. <laughs> When you look up at a fucking 747, yeah. or you're in one, looking out the window, that is inconceivable to somebody back then. Well, how about just a wheelbarrow without fucking bodies piled up in it? <laughs> 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 we're a pussy that doesn't stink, but it's actually shaved. We're still, we're, we're still working on the, that problem. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about space, though, is... You, the, the, how about us sitting here together and me not bossing you around? <laughs> <laughs> God damn.